Jason from Life Farms in Clearwater. This is the first uh, episode of a whole series of how-to videos about how to grow vegetables in Florida. In our first video, we're going to talk about cover crops. Uh, here at Life Farms, we cover our fields in the summer with sun hemp. As you can see here, it's a huge field covered with Indian sun hemp, uh, a plant that actually has a lot of benefits um, if we grow them in the summer to cover our fields. And I'd like to explain you a little bit about the benefits and um, to show you actually, you know, why it helps us so much to get a, a good soil and better crops for the main season. So sun hemp, the plant is native to India and it's well adapted to the heat and the humidity here in the Florida summer. And um, it's, it's interesting. Um, it has um, the ability to suppress weeds. When you look here, there's no weeds that can come up. If you look on the side over here, you see that grass and nutsedge and so on can grow while in the main field where we have a, a nice thick cover of sun hemp, nothing can grow through. It has uh, the natural ability to suppress weeds in different ways uh, with uh, competition, but also chemically, chemically. And um, that actually makes it really interesting. Another big benefit is that the sun hem with that thick coverage actually slows down the rain so we don't have erosion in the field. It also provides shades for all the micro and macro organisms in the soil and on the soil surface. We're not talking about um, only about rainworm, earthworms or uh, spiders or beetles or so on, but also about um, microorganisms in the soil and um, bacteria and mycor mycorrhiza fungi in the soil. Another benefit is something uh, is um, the, the nutrient um, enrichment of um, sun hemp. So sun hemp um, actually accelerates the soil mineralization um, and that helps to uh, provide nutrients for the plant. Uh, and another aspect of this is something I want to show you. So when we pull one out, shake off the soil, we can see something quite interesting. Uh, these little white knots are nothing harmful. You know, as, as somebody who's not familiar with it, you could think, oh, these are maybe root knot nematodes. But actually the opposite is the case. This is something really beneficial. Um, these are rhizobium um, bacteria and they live in little nodules and they are uh, formed out of a root uh, tissue and in these little nodules, in these little knots, we have uh, a little room, a little chamber where bacteria live and these bacteria, these bacteria actually are highly beneficial. They can um, fix atmospheric Nitrogen. Nitrogen is everywhere, like 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen, and, uh, but it's just not available for the plants. So uh, in this case, um, the plant is able to have access to nitrogen from the atmosphere through these bacteria, just uh, with this symbiotic relationship. And um, this is another great benefit. So when we, at one point, cut the sun hemp, we want to make sure that the roots stay in the soil so the uh, nitrogen is available available for the next generation of plants, which will then be our vegetables. Now, thank you very much. This was our first video uh, about cover crops. Our cover crops, our favorite cover crops, is the sun hemp. And uh, the sun hemp is going to stay with us for another couple of weeks and then we get ready for our vegetables. Thank you very much.